Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Rosina Sharon and that's today we are going to do a full face makeup tutorial for beginners as always. And before you do that, kindly subscribe, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them. And if you like the video, give it a big, big, big thumbs up. With no further ado, let us go straight into the video. Okay guys, uh, we're going to start off with the eyebrows and uh, where to start lining, you're going to follow the bridge of the nose as shown before and then we're just going to follow the exact shape of the brows and then where to stop lining for beginners, you're going to follow the angle from the lower lash line, okay? When you're lining the upper side of the brows, please just level the brows, don't brush them down, okay? And then we're going to leave a bit of space around the inner corner and then again i just follow the exact shape of the brows and as we line the outer corner we are always going to line it outwards and uh, we are using the davis number no. three eye pencil for this and then next before we start filling in we're going to use the bar soap technique make sure it's wet rub on it and use the white foam to brush through the eyebrows allow for the soap to dry out completely first before you start filling in to fill in we're just going to do light strokes all over the eyebrows we're not doing something very complicated right now and then after that to clean the eyebrows we're using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn around the inner corner we're leaving a bit of space both on the inner corner and outer corner and for this we're using a flat brush not an angled brush and make sure you drag the concealer down as you go so around the inner corner and outer corner we're going to use a foundation that matches our skin tone so it's easier to blend afterward so both sides around the inner corner and outer corner and then after that we're just going to use you can use your finger for this just to blend that in before you start setting the lids using an eyeshadow primer for the eyeshadow primer we're going for is the um p louise eyeshadow base and always start blending in from the lower lid going up so most of the product is concentrated on the lower lid as it goes up it just blends into the concealer we use prior so for eyeshadow we're using the shaz cosmetic eyeshadow we're doing a reverse today so reverse technique you start off on the lower lid using a matte shade it's recommendable for when you're using matte shades only so we're going to use a nude matte shade first and then after that that is when we're going to do the transition so to blend in the transition you're going to start off by using an eye pencil liner we're using the davis number three the big one now and we're just creating that circle for the curve on uh, the transition first and then after that blend that in uh, using a small brush okay so this is just going to make sure the pigment on the eyeshadow we're going to put that on that area is going to be very pigmented we're not going to lose pigment and then after that we're just going to use eyeshadow on top of it i normally recommend you go for a dark brown eyeshadow this technique works well for when you want to have um a nude matte eyeshadow look and then on the upper side we're using a finishing powder that matches our skin tone and you remember when it comes to blending we're doing circular motions and a very little fuss and then after that i felt like doing a dramatic wing we're going to follow the lower lash line in that angle towards where your eyebrow stops okay and then to connect it down you're connecting down from the middle part of the first line it looks more natural that way and then after that i'm just going to apply the falsies before we proceed on to the face so moving on to the face, we're going to start off with a serum on your bare skin. Always start with a serum first. And because my skin type is dry, I'm going to use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. It's only recommendable for dry skin. And then after that, we're going to use sunscreen. I'm using the Bondi Sans SPF 50 sunscreen. This is a very moisturizing sunscreen. Again, I recommendable for dry skin. So we're just going to apply that all over the face and wait for the serum to set fast before you move on to sunscreen. So you start with serum, then sunscreen, then moisturizer, then primer. So my, my, my sunscreen was very moisturizing. I don't need to add more moisturizer on top of it. But after that, we are going to prime using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And I'm only going to prime around my T-zone area because again, my skin type is dry. And then after the primer has set, you move on to foundation. I normally prefer using this either of these two, the Maybelline Superstay Foundation or Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 420. Fenty Beauty actually works good for me. 
it's a soft matte shade the only problem with fenty beauty is it oxidizes with time so be very careful you can go for a shade lighter than your skin tone because eventually it's going to oxidize but the best foundation for dry skin especially for high-end foundations you can go for nas foundation it is the best when it comes to drugstore foundations if you have dry skin go for maybelline superstay foundation and then i'm going to apply that using a brush when it comes to a brush you drag it fast and then you tap 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 to blend don't do dots all over your face before you blend it in and around the nose region use the product remaining on the brush because it uh, an area where we have a lot of texture you don't want to use too much product around those areas and avoid using foundation on your under eye area and then after foundation we are highlighting using concealer we are going to use the very same concealer we used to clean the brows that is LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn starting off on the under uh, on the under eye sorry so we're going to place the concealer on the inner corner and outer corner like that only don't use too much product little product goes a long way okay and then to blend this in we are going to use a damn beauty blender and when i say damn beauty blender i mean a damn beauty blender you wet it and then you squeeze out the excess water completely out of the beauty blender make sure the excess water is off completely you can use a towel to squeeze out the excess water when the beauty blender has a little water it's going to give your blender bit of patches and you don't want that and then after highlighting we are going to set in using the such a buttercup setting powder we're going to use the very same beauty blender the airway has product you uh, place that onto the product and then blow off the excess powder on the beauty blender first and then use that remaining one to press in onto the areas you highlighted using a concealer so those areas include the under eye bridge of the nose and a bit on the forehead so after setting with the setting powder, we're going to powder contour using this Shaz Cosmetics um, contour palette. And if you're a beginner and you don't know where exactly to place your contour, you can place your hand like this. And then your contour should stop where I'm pointing at. Don't bring all the way down to the nose. Okay. So for blending it in, you're going to lift and drop using a fluffy brush. Okay. And you're going to contour on the higher points of the cheeks. And then use the product remaining on the brush to contour your forehead. As you contour your forehead, you blend, you brush it into the hairline. When it comes to the nose contour, where your eyeshadow stops, you can place your brush in that angle just to give you a gallon on where exactly to uh, draw the contour lines. And we are using a smaller brush for this, okay? And please avoid using too much product. And if you must contour the nose, use just a shade darker than your skin tone. Don't use a very dark shade on the nose contour. You don't want the contour to have a very harsh line. And to blend the contour in, you're going to use a cleaner brush to avoid having harsh contour lines on your nose. And then after that, we're just going to add a bit of bronzer on where exactly we contoured on our cheeks. And then after that, we're just going to use a finishing powder that matches our skin tone to blend in the whole face, except for the under eye. Don't go over the under eye again. Because remember, we set that area in using a setting powder and it's a very delicate area, so you don't need to go over it over and over and over again. And then after that, we are going to set the whole face using a setting spray. I'm using the Milani uh, Make It Last setting spray, the original one. And then after that, I normally love using that blush from Shaz Cosmetics. It has a, an orange undertone to it, so it works best for African skin. And then after that, moving on to the lips, I'm going to start off by lip lining using a brown lip liner from Davis that is number three again and then after that make sure you blend in the lip liner first before you apply lipstick it's very very important you don't want the lips looking like it's just one line going all through and then after that I'm just going to use this shade from golden lip cosmetics and add a bit of gloss on top and uh, that is the final product guys let me know what you think about this whole look on the comment section down below i'm sorry i have been away but i am back now we are back to doing tutorials let me know which one you would want me to do next and i hope you really learned from this tutorial and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you guys next time Bye bye